in this video i'm going to be showing you how i made this lovely overlapping cape pattern this is what the back side looks like so let's get straight into the video so i will start off by making use of my off shoulder uh, bustier pattern that I've made. I have a video on how to make this pattern so you can check that out in the description box or at the end of this video. So first grab your center piece but take note that we are making use of only the upper part of this uh, piece. So next thing grab a new pattern paper and you are going to take the measurement of your waist on the center piece whatever your waist measures on this center piece you are going to transfer it on the new pattern paper pattern paper like this mine is about three inches and i'm also measuring it up so i can connect it with a straight line okay so after connecting the straight line you should place your center front edge from the middle uh, line on that line that you have drawn then trace out the shape of the dart side so i am done tracing my out and this is what it looks like you can see the lines now so the next thing you should do now is to grab your side panel and you are going to be attaching the you are going to pretend basically as if you are sewing this uh already so you are going to be joining the dart part with the dart part of the side panel as well and you are going to be joining it by half of an inch so this is what mine looks like after joining it together and now i'm going to join the sleeve also to the armhole of the side as you can see and i'm going to attach the other hand of the i mean the other side of the sleeve to the back side then i'm just showing you that i folded it by half of an inch already and i'm going to sew that down i am sewing by hand actually so then uh sew also to the back and this is what it looks like once you have attached uh everything together and this is just like half of the entire upper part of the dress okay that is the center front the one side the sleeve and one side of the back as well so next you should determine how low you want the neckline to be and once you are done just place the measurement you want on that line okay i took seven inch in my own case and i have my tape proof four inches away from my uh, paper because this is an off shoulder like i said make sure you check out the video on how to make this pattern all right so from this point now you are going to connect from where your sleeve meets with uh, the armhole to that point and down to your uh, waistline so you are going to be connecting that with the curve like I have done. So next we are going to be cutting off along that line. And then you are going to grab a new pattern paper and trace along the line I'm showing you on the new pattern paper. And now I am done cutting that shape out. And I've grabbed the new pattern paper and placed my off shoulder pattern on it. And now I'm tracing it out so you see that i traced out along the neckline only down to uh, the curve i made and now it's time to determine how wide you want your cape to be and how you want the shape to look like as well this totally depends on you so you can feel free to design it any how you want okay so i took four inches there so take note that the most important is the neck uh, line area the neckline area is the most important the the down part you can shape it anyhow you want it to be so for me i took about four inches there and here i'm taking five and a half so i'm just trying to see if that's okay by me or i need to do any adjustment to it and again i'm proceeding i'm taking about six inches there and here i took uh five or i decided to take four and a half it totally depends on you like i said
So take note of the part where you have your sleeve and determine if you want your uh, cape to cover the sleeve, then you should make the width of your cape to be more than that of your sleeve. And now it's time to connect all the points that you have made and that is going to form the shape of your cape. And here is what my shape finally looks like. I went ahead and made some adjustment to it just to, you know, just to look exactly like I want it. And now I am satisfied with the shape that I have. Like I said, just make sure you keep the neckline constant and that is all you need. The rest you can do it however you choose to have the shape. Okay, and finally you should cut out this entire shape. Voila, our cape is ready, all nice and neat. I'm going to be using this cape in my next tutorial, so be sure to check that out. Just a quick sneak peek. This is the dress I made in that video, so I'm sure you don't want to miss it for anything. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. If it has been helpful for you in any way, be sure to leave me a thumbs up and also leave a comment for me in the comment section if you have any question whatsoever. And make sure you're subscribed to this channel, Dummy Dimension. And until next time, I say bye.